All right, let's bring in our guest. Joining us this hour to discuss mm -hmm. is federal trial attorney Alexis Rosenberg. Alexis, great to see you. I uh, want to get your reaction to what we just found out, I would say, maybe 15, 20 minutes ago, that first-degree murder charges have now been pressed against Stefan Sturms. Yes, they have. And I mean, they took some time because this has been a couple months uh, since, you know, he was initially arrested for the other charges. I mean, it's just disturbing. It's heartbreaking. All of our hearts break for this little girl who seems to, based on the allegations, have lived a very torturous life. Um, and it's just it's sad. It is horrific. It just, these kinds of crimes really uh, turn my stomach. They did announce also during this press conference that they will be considering the death penalty based on aggravating circumstances. They're gonna, they're still investigating this matter. What do you think of that? I mean, again, if the allegations are true, he started some of this sex abuse when she was only eight years old under the age of 12, that's an aggravating factor. I mean, if these allegations, like you said, are true, I think it's justified. I mean, they should seek the, the death penalty. I mean, this is just horrible. And they have all this evidence with pictures of her and things that happened to her. The question that I have is how, which they have not charged the mother, but how did the mother not know what was going on based on what they are saying they found in that house? That, you, me too. You know what's interesting? Um, number one, you talk about this poor child and what she went through. When you look at the pictures of her, mm -hmm. um, there's something about that's haunting about her mm -hmm. face. There's something behind those eyes. So that leads me to my question, Alexis. If I can see it, now you see this little girl, there, there's just something when you look at her that, that tells you something is not quite right, but yet her mother didn't notice it. Um, the investigation, we don't, know. we don't, right, we don't know. Yeah. At this point, we don't know. Correct. And as I was going to say, the investigation is still ongoing. What do you think the prospects are of possibly including the mother on some charges in this case? Well, I, I think they're very strong. I agree with you. I mean, there's some sad, there's deep sadness that appears in her eyes in these pictures that they are posting. I think that maybe we have, we possibly could have a child endangerment, that sort of, of charge because she was in a household with just, if you just take the minimum, the, this material was present. Um, so I think that, that there's a high chance of that. The question of whether she will be charged with conspiracy or something of that nature, I don't know. That's going to be dependent on the evidence that they found. And you know, Michael, I've seen in my career many times, I don't know if it's the case here, but that the child actually discloses to a parent mm. and that parent does not believe them, does yes. not support mm -hmm. them. And then you find out down the road it really yeah. happened. I don't know that's the case here. I'm yeah. not suggesting it is. I hope it's not. And I will say this. Some of our viewers have noticed that in an interview early on when they were investigating what mm -hmm. had happened, she was still a missing little girl. The father says that we dropped her off. Mm. Um, um, then the mother doesn't claim that. She says the last time I saw her was at a birthday party. A lot of people picked up on that and said, maybe she was in that car. Maybe there was more to this story. So mm -hmm. that's what I guess this investigation will ultimately show. I do want to mention that uh, Stephen Stearns will be arraigned on that's right. these charges on April 29th. Of course, we're going to bring you that gear on Court TV. All right, we're going to move on now. Alexis, stand by. We're going to turn back to Idaho.